Hello everyone, this is Crota giving you game number one in a series between Czech and Laliet. Um, apologies for yesterday's cast. I believe there it was tied up 1-1, but after all of that, the replay package that I was given does not have all the games. So um, I do apologize right there, but let's go ahead and focus on, on here. Game number one in this series, it is going to be Laliet versus Czech a Night Elf versus Night Elf mirror match as things get underway. Gonna go ahead and speed things up to eight times speed right now. Hopefully, and there you go. And this promises to be a rather interesting game here in this Demon Hunter versus Demon Hunter matchup as the Demon Hunters will be exchanging blows relatively quickly. Excuse me, well, never drink a large amount of soda right before you start trying to cast you may end up burping quite a bit. Anyways, let's go ahead and take a look at what's going down here. You can take a look. The Demon Hunter doing a good job doing a, um, doing some a little bit of a wisp pathing in order to shut down some of these units here. You can see one Ogre Warrior has already been taken down. A second Ogre Warrior now will get taken out as well as the Demon Hunter did not tech evasion first, having mana burn just in case his opponent tries to show up. Gloves of Haste now picked up. Evasion most likely has been teched as well. You can see the misses now happening in here as it looks as though Laluet um, going to the other side of the map taking down one of the ogre warriors that drops that very useful item and now gonna perhaps make its way back off to the north here as this ancient of war does get into position now Laluet's a little bit of more aggressive creep pattern will net him one additional item over his opponent even though it is slightly slower and a little bit riskier as things are now gearing towards the first nightfall, we already see teching the Tree of Ages happening on both sides of the map. And are we going to see this very, very typical long game that Night Elf players often go to? The reason why Night Elf players often go to lane game, late game is because there isn't really that much pressure that can be brought during the early stages of, stages of the game. Both sides benefit equally from Nightfall. You can shadow meld, your units are generating additional hit points. So what ends up happening is there's a very, very fast quick tech to tier 3. With that tech to tier 3, and you see a lot of dryads and bears just because you want to stop rejuvenation and and bears are just such a strong unit in this matchup on top of that though we may see a keeper of the grove as a secondary hero as the demon hunter picks up a ring of protection plus three quickly sells it grabs boots of speed and a circlet of nobility back uh, back at home tree of ages is nearly done on both sides and i do believe an a dual ancients of lore will be coming into play meanwhile back off to the north laluette somehow able to take down and do a lot of damage here even though the demon hunter is in a little bit of trouble you can see that that uh, that one archer has taken a fair bit of damage this demon hunter really really low on hit points now i do not know how he is surviving this what is going to happen here is he going to end up dying picking up a tome of experience a very very useful item there as he runs around there is a mana burn down to eight hit points this could be very very bad for both sides are we going to see a demon hunter come back the other way mana burn oh Oh, beautiful scroll of town portal but is it gonna be in time that the demon hunter quickly making their way over are we gonna see another mana burn there we go both sides ex exchanging back and forth lolly what is gonna be forced to use a potion of healing pretty much as we are now gonna be looking at that engagement there that extra bit of mana check unable to mana burn lolly demon hunter in time and lolly stays alive ever so barely that scroll of town portal used at just the right moment in order to eat through some mana of his opponent, not take any damage as the Demon Hunter now tries to sneak on inside. Nope, Demon Hunter currently shadow melded. You are not getting in this house. Back off, back across over here. La Louette is in a bit of trouble. He had opened up with, wait, no, what is that? Uh, it looked like it was going to be a Keeper of the Grove. No, he went for a Naga Sea Witch as well, and he feigned that to his opponent. Now, taking a look at this, what is Czech's follow-up play going to be? Is he going to tech to tier 3, perhaps try to go for a Keeper of the Grove? Are we going to see triple heroes coming in from both sides of the map? As this game does promise to be long, no one has a very large army as of yet. 27 over 50 compared to 25 over 50 as things are just getting set up for the long haul. Back down across over here, Ancient of War doing some tanking against a Gargantuan Sea Turtle Creep Camp. 
the 744 creep camp does drop a very highly useful consumable item potion of healing greater potion of healing or a potion of invulnerability but right now check is in trouble as his naga sea witch just drinks the um, mana just in time all right we're gonna see a little bit of an engagement there there is another mana burn are we perhaps gonna see a mana burn come in from check the demon hunter does have enough for a mana burn and does not mana burn his opponent not quite sure what happened there wow his opponent actually get ended up getting a little bit more mana uh, across once again as the demon hunter now makes its way back off to the north all right naga sea which slithering her way back 28 over 50 abolish magic and drew to the claw adept training being added one dryad one drew to the claw being added in here as well meanwhile trying to sit in the center portion of the map no real sentry wards being dropped so this one thoroughfare right here next to the tavern is going to be extremely important as this is the main crossway between the left and right sides of the map. One archer down over here was able to uh, stick around. That was a, a little bit of a surprise there as we're looking at the demon hunter sitting by the tavern feigning that he might be trying to go for another tavern hero. That would be a bit of a surprise right now as we do see that the altar of elders does not have anything right there. We have not seen another hero picked up as of yet as both sides demon hunters are low on mana. Uh, taking a sip of soda always takes a little bit longer than you think it will. Sorry for the awkward silence. My, vo my voice is a little bit parched right now. As we're looking at check, opening up, trying to pull these creep camps away, he will be able to do exactly that, making sure to not expose his back to his opponent. Demon Hunter also in a very good spot here, getting in some easy damage onto that gargantuan sea turtle, picking up a potion of greater mana. Not nearly that useful as the Demon Hunter often doesn't need that much mana in those exchanges. It becomes a little bit of a dual-edged sword there as the Druid of the Claw staying in Druid form as he can't go into bear form, not yet at mastery. Meanwhile, Demon Hunter does have now an orb of venom and the items on the Demon Hunter should look relatively similar. However, the potion of greater healing significantly better than the potion of mana now also adding in a staff of preservation. So that is going to be very, very helpful once as well. Naga Seawitch picking up that scroll of healing from the shop there. Demon Hunter now clearing up the Gargantuan Sea Turtle may end up getting a rejuvenation for his efforts once again as he is now down to below half life. Gonna regenerate those hit points, adding in a little bit of that poison damage, finishing off that giant Sea Turtle there, and now going after the very important, powerful Red Creeps in the corner. <coughs> red Creep Camps in the corner <coughs> not only give a lot of experience, excuse me, and for those of you guys who wonder, yes, I do have a cough mic button, but it actually introduced a lot of static and feedback. Not quite sure what's going on with my cabling and don't really have the funds to try and replace everything as of now. Need to get a new computer instead. But we are going to be looking at a Naga Sea Witch getting to level 3 off of this creep camp. What item will be picked up? A robe of Magi, so plus 6 damage on that Naga Sea Witch. Very useful and now also sitting at level 3 as well. Tome of Knowledge also picked up here. The Demon Hunter smartly decided to back off as we now see Laluette who will be getting to level 4. Naga Sea Witch also sitting at level 3. And the real difference was that earlier Tome of Experience that Laluette was able to pick up from this shop over here after nearly dying. All right, let's take a look. Laluette rightfully going after a Moonwell that still has a bit of Moon Juice in it. We're going to see a bit of a roar here as Laluette going to end up... Lo oh, no, it may not be a loss right here. There is a surround. Demon Hunter, Staff of Preservation, sent back home. Is he going to Staff of Teleportation back inside here? That is going to be the big question as we see a lot of units just getting teleported all the way around. Not quite sure who is winning out in this fight in these engagements. Bears on both sides have lost a significant number of hit points as one bear does get taken down and it looks like an archer will get taken out as well. Supply is 46 over 60 compared to 44 over 60. As we're looking at why are we pinging here, I'm not 100% sure. I thought there could have been perhaps a tree of eternity marching its way over. But that is still not the case. Two red creep camps available. And this is going to be one of those situations where 
Um, Czech now has the advantage. He does not have to travel as far to go to a red creep camp, and it looks like he will be able to come across his opponent who is attempting to creep out a red creep camp. All right, let's take a look at this. Ogre Lord now making its way back over. Ogre Lord is going to quickly get surrounded and not even bother. Oh, there's a shockwave coming across. There's the mana burn. And this is going to end up hurting Czech just a little bit. His opponent is going to end up picking up the necessary items or the, the very, very powerful item there. Let's take a look at it. What was it? It looks like it was Endurance Aura. Staff of Preservation, his own unit back home. And, well, two Endurance Aura is not that useful as there is only one creep camp left on the map. The all-powerful items those auras are going to be extremely helpful and will it come across will it work as a quick detonation as the naga sea which now slithering back down all right quick check to make sure no ninja expansions were set up demon hunter now needs to figure out what to do next and laluette has really just been faster only by about five to seven seconds in each engagement and that is really starting to add up Laluette gonna go after this forest troll warlord here. It looks as though the forest troll warlord could get taken down very, very quickly. There's the bears. There goes the ogre lord. And as this one lord gets taken down, boots will quell the loss. It is gonna be plus six agility to the Naga Sea Witch as the units are now in a little bit of a run. All right, beautiful staff of preservation saving a low hit point bear. Naga Sea Witch gets in a, a very, very big cold onto those bears right now. As this bear is in a little bit of trouble. Staff of Preservation could be coming across as well. There it goes again. As the Demon Hunter now running and chasing. Alright, running and gunning so to speak. A lot of damage to be had. Demon Hunter going after each other. There was a big blow. And this Demon Hunter does not have Boots of Speed. Hence the fact that there is a little bit of catch up coming across. All right, Demon Hunter still a little bit slow. There is a cold arrow and now there was a Staff of Preservation sending that Demon Hunter all the way back home. All right, let's see what's happening next. Bears, Druids of the Claw, Naga, Sea Witch, all ready to go. Demon Hunter clears off, heads to the north, sees what he doesn't want to see, an empty creep camp. Down across over here, he's going to see something that he doesn't want to see again. Another empty creep camp as La Luet has taken a big, big lead in terms of experience and overall items. One more gargantuan sea turtle left on each side of the map. Those will be felled very, very quickly. A handful of small little creep camps on the sides as well as the gargantuan sea turtle will get taken down. There it goes. Back across over here. Gargantuan Sea Turtle going up against that Naga Sea Witch. Naga Sea Witch now sitting at level 4. Bear is staying in Druid form in order to get more mana. That mana regeneration is much, much higher. And also picking up a Ring of Regeneration. Really not that useful on these heroes right now since it is the late game. But then again, gold is not going to be altogether that useful for you either as we as we are now sitting in low upkeep. So selling any of your items, you still get taxed on it when you are in low upkeep. So not a very, very good idea to sell right now unless you are able to... Um, well, unless you are able to sneak it off. All right, let's take a look. It looks like it was sold. So, yeah, it was sold there. We are now going to see an engagement right here. Bears quickly surrounding and the Druids of the Claw taking down one Moonwell at one very full Moonwell. A second very full Moonwell going to get taken down as well. Staff of Preservation saving a low hit point unit. Bears now engaging. And with those two Moonwells gone and it being Daybreak, any engagement now is going to hurt Czech a little bit more than Laliette. All right, all of these Moonwells are relatively empty. And at this point, is Laluette going to perhaps buy a Moonstone, try and fill up these Moonwells, knowing that his opponent doesn't have two Moonwells um, to currently fill back up, and the remaining Moonwells are pretty much already full. All right, it doesn't look like that's going to be the case, even though that would be a rather a, a decent play at this point, knowing that your opponent has maxed out Moonwells and you have very, very empty Moonwells in a Night Elf versus Night Elf mirror match. All right, Ancient of War being constructed in the front line. Uh, Mana Burn Wars 2016 as both sides are engaging again. Bears in position. There goes a, a small number of detonations as the Druid of the Claw gets stabbed a preservation back. He needs to get rejuvenated. No, he's not going to get rejuvenated. He's going to enter the fight with only 300 hit points as the Ancient of War tries to get in position. All right, there are some detonations across multiple units just detonating themselves on the Naga Sea Witch. 
And now we also see the Druid of the Claw with Scroll of Protection. Who is coming out ahead in this fight? It looks like Czech may end up losing one bear. There goes one bear. Lolouette may end up losing a bear as well. Um, a lot of bears just falling left and right. Not quite sure who has the advantage. 59 over 80. The Lolouette should have a little bit of an advantage since she is fighting at home. But the Moonwells are not offering that much of additional assistance. Lolouette now retreating back with these two Druids of the Claw. Very, very low on hit points. As Lolouette has a bunch of low hit point heroes. Let's take a look. Wow, beautiful staff of preservation to try and save that one hero there. But this is going to turn into a very, very dangerous spot here in just a moment. As the bears are just fighting once again. All right, Lolouette, low hit point bear. It now needs to escape. Check. Um, or Lolouette down to 32 over 80. Check in a great spot right now. He looks like he has a large number of bears that still somehow survived. Let's take a look. 2-1 upgrades compared to 3-2. I am not sure how Check actually is winning out. He is down in upgrades. It looked like they were relatively even in terms of overall um, supply. But still, the, the bears here, the Moonwells, finally adding in a little bit extra as one bear does get taken down. Another bear gets taken down. Check going to lose that bear. And the Dryads are now looking to back off. All right, overall supply, 31 over 80 compared to 39 over 50. Check, very, very low hit point bear has somehow made it. Are we going to see perhaps another detonation or something like that as the Naga Sea Witch and the Druid of the Claws are going to try and engage again? All right, let's take a look. Demon Hunter finishes off a Dryad. Very low hit point. Demon Hunter in trouble. Is it going to get stabbed to preservation in time? Of course it will as La Luette now going to end up losing a bear for all of his efforts. The Demon Hunter should have teleported that bear back first before him teleporting away as well. Demon Hunter now needs to hide. Lalouette staying in the very, very far back. There is the Abolish Magic. The Demon Hunter should have known better than to try and engage when relatively low on hit points with a Rejuvenation. Check now retreating once more, and it looks like Check is going to have um, more units back at home. Let's take a look at this. Demon Hunter now in trouble. Is he going to get stabbed to preservation? There goes another bear. Check actually chasing after Lolouette's Demon Hunter to no avail and actually losing one of his own bears once again. Lolouette, very, very low hit point. Drew to the claw. It gets stabbed to preservation. No big surprise. There is another rejuvenation on the Demon Hunter as we now see Mana Burns coming into play. Dryads, of course coming with the abolish magic again there is that rejuvenation as that demon hunter nope no rejuvenation there as the naga sea which now seen that level five all right let's take a look demon hunter in a lot of trouble down to 78 hit points needs to get away down to 46 is it going to get stabbed to preservation again yes it will and that demon hunter has one life to live in order to try and figure out how to fight this all back. All right, Demon Hunter runs straight here. What is it doing? There's the Potion of Healing as there it goes the engagement. All right, Bear's trying to engage. Naga Sea Witch trying to slither away. That very, very low hit point. There's a Rejuvenation. Are we going to see a Mana Burn? Stab of Preservation. There's the save. Naga Sea Witch finishes off a Bear. And so many Bears, so many units. This Demon Hunter now in trouble. No Cold Arrows, though. It was not activated. And if there was a Cold Arrow, I believe this would have been a different fight once again. Lalouette down to 35 over 80 compared to 51 over 60. Check is in a dominating lead right now as he is pushing forth once more. Lalouette trying to retreat and anytime you can fight inside your own base that is always a benefit. The Ancient of Wonders now engaging back as well. Meanwhile down over here checks one low hit point bear still not engaging at all should really um, have gotten a rejuvenation off already as the Demon Hunter is now going for a little bit of an exchange. All right, Naga Sea Witch. Lalouette, is he going to be able to get a Staff of Preservation in from the Naga Sea Witch? That Demon Hunter is in trouble as the Demon Hunter able to slip away somehow. There's the Staff of Preservation again. And all he's really doing is buying time for his additional units. All right, there is a Druid of the Claw there. The, the Demon Hunter now healing back up once again. Naga Sea Witch, oh, gonna find a bear in a very, very vulnerable spot. But the Rejuvenation already rent down. Naga Sea Witch now slithering away again. Will it be able to get away as the Demon Hunter now looks to engage? All right, Naga Sea Witch could have been mana burned. No mana burned for some strange reason. Demon Hunter now engaging there. As you can see, that one Demon Hunter down to zero mana already. After a mana burn here, we are 21 minutes into this game. No more gold on both sides of the map. What you see is what you get. And I believe Czech has the advantage there. 59 over 60 compared to 42 over 80. 
All right, Bear is looking to clear up Laluette's base. And I think this is pretty much going to be it. Demon are not going to try to engage. D there is the roar. Are we going to engage here? Are we going to see a rejuvenation? Demon Hunter now in that front line. The Ancients of Lore should really be uprooted and engaging right now. Not quite sure why they are not. Tree of Eternity as well. Since the Tree of Eternity um, is not mining any gold. All right. Uproot your, uproot your Ancients and engage as best as you can. Let's take a look at this. One Ancient of... Or one, one Ancient or Drew the Claw now taken down. Demon Hunter sitting at level 6. And if he does get 150 mana, you know that will be the game. But I do not think that will be the case. Check, it looks like he's going to be able to finish off his opponent before Lollywood's able to do too much damage to the remaining bears. That bear somehow staying alive, not falling to the Ancient of Lore. But now in a bit of trouble again. All right, there's a mana burn. Level 6 on Lollywood's Demon Hunter. Two level 6 Demon Hunters. One at 54 hit points. One at 583. No real need to say who's going to win next as check takes game number one. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Hope you guys enjoyed game one. Please stay tuned for game number two.